Hey guys, uh, it's Dad Trader here, and today we're just talking about the stock of BMR, Beamer. Beamer, a company that works with NVIDIA and makes incredible um, video compression. It can take this from 12 megs to 2 megs without any notice, I guess. Beautiful, right? I'm not sure. Anyway, I tried price action, so that's what Beamer does. Um, I noticed um, Beamer this morning on the dashboard in Big Short. And if you've never used Big Short before, here's the dashboard here. And I saw this unusual stock, BMR, picking up with a really big inflow of smart money pre-market. And I was like, I gotta investigate that. That just seems very unusual. Um, so the first thing I did was I looked um, at Trade Ideas, which you can actually use for free. Um, they have one that's 15 minutes delayed. And what, what I saw right away was that BMR was like really on the top of their dashboard too and trending. Um, and if you want, you can watch a replay and play around with trade ideas, but that's not really the point of this video. Um, so anyway, I uh, took a look at, at BMR and I wanted to create a quick mental trade plan, which I did and I'll share with you. I will say for stocks like BMR that don't have options, um, and stocks like BMR that seem to be going up in a hurry for any of those interested in trading them, I would say be very cautious, trade with a very small portion of your account uh, because oftentimes while these things look like they may be going, they may also slam down uh, really quickly without, without you even knowing and you could lose the full value of whatever you're trading. So if BMR is trading at uh, 10 bucks, eight bucks a share, 10 bucks a share, you know, if you're willing to lose a um, hundred dollars in this trade, like go for it, you know, invest a hundred dollars. But if you're not willing to lose a hundred dollars, then just stay away from it um, because this is a volatile type trading. Anyway, so the stock of BMR came in and I saw this nice consolidation right here at the, at the open. Um, I also was waiting for some kind of indication that smart money was really flowing in and it came right here as smart money popped above zero and this giant uh, smart money candle came in and I entered right here before this thing actually halted. And I think that's what this little candle is here. That's the halt. And then this is actually a second halt. I actually sat through both of these halts. I haven't done that in ages. Uh, sitting through halts is, yeah, different different kind of trading, but you can do it uh, if you size appropriately for your account. And then um, I went and got some coffee, and I believe I sold out in this area here. I sold most of my position. I was just like, I don't think this is going to keep going. I kept one share. Uh, but one really interesting thing is that there was actually a second place to get in. Uh, to this trade and it was it was right here Let's see if I can draw a candle. I know I can't draw on this. You'll have to just look at my crosshair there um, So you can see smart money came in really big again on this hammer candle So it would have been an ideal second entry for another eight dollar move if that was uh, what you're interested in Anyway, so that was the stock of BMR um, Just in interest of big short. I think we're gonna take a quick look at the dashboard um, there were some other stocks here um, that were trending. Mara, huge, huge move. Um, I didn't um, get this move today, but this one is in one of my accounts as a long-term trade. Um, you can see smart money came in in that same, you know, number four big candle. Even though, um, you know, it presented a red candle, smart money came in huge. Candle number four, and we had a run of almost two dollars from that particular candle you could have got in here um you could have gotten here but this is a little bit late there wasn't much left in that trade after that but this was the ideal uh entry about 20 minutes into the trade uh last a quick look at bank of america which i also did i did take a small position in this morning um, one thing that was really interesting about bank of america was that there was um, a really big put spike, which I noticed a little bit later in the trading session here, which typically means that 
big money is selling puts. So when big money sells puts, that means that um, they're creating their position here. Uh, big money doesn't buy shares like like you and I. Where they sell puts because they've got deep pockets and can do that kind of stuff. So they sold their big put position here, and then you saw this nice rally right up there. Uh, and the interesting thing was that this actually corresponded today with SPY, and a number of people who trade with uh, Big Short uh, took this took this as well um, that are in the Big Short community. I just thought I'd point this out because it's also a really cool setup again. Um, not all the indicators were there, but quite a few, you know, see this big, big put spike about the same place as Bank of America. And look at this great run on SPY. Uh, nice. If you like to trade futures or options, um, you know, if you like to trade leverage funds like U UPRO or others, I mean, this is just a really, really nice um, entry right, right here off that little hammer candle. Um, you could even just set your stop level there. And what a nice entry as long as you're in and out in that day. So that's all I got. Thanks for stopping by. And uh, if you're interested, click uh, the like the link below for Big Short and help support this channel. Thanks.